nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. That's right. This is the No Sound Bites Allowed podcast, and we are on the Exceptional Conservative Network, TECN TV. I thank you for joining me today in our two hour episode, which will be going. Uh, this is our long episode. We take comments from you. We look forward to seeing the audience here. And uh, if you're here live with us, we obviously want to get your feedback. This is about a conversation with you. And one of the great things we're going to have today, in addition to speaking about many of the issues that are important, is we're going to be talking with uh, Richard, excuse me, Sheriff Richard Mack, a Second Amendment advocate, talking about his Neighborhood Alliance PAC. We're going to be talking about the Second Amendment. We're going to be talking about uh, the red flag situation in Congress. So we have a lot of information we're going to go over today. And I am checking out the chat room. I do see that Tina's there with us already, and many others are joining. Uh, So we'll be looking forward to speaking with all of you. And uh, in addition to that, of course, we have a lot of issues to go over today, but I did want to thank everyone for being here first. Uh, and, And I do want to say, you know, I appreciate each and every time the entire audience, all of you, Uh, whether you're seeing the show live, whether you see it when it's taped uh, on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter, it doesn't matter how you see it, your support by liking this, by sharing this, by commenting is always important. And that's why we want to be able to reach out to you because you make it all worthwhile. You're the reason why I do it. You really are. Uh, It's the only reason to be in politics or to have political commentary week after week. And, uh, but I do want to take a break, a break from the normal pace of things. Uh, There's been a lot going on personally for me in the last two weeks. It's been a very, very difficult time, uh, very trying and troubling. And, but I, and I understand many of us go through periods of time where a lot of things in life don't go right. And we have personal troubles. We have personal trials and tribulations. And, uh, you know, whenever I get into these situations, they happen to us from time to time in life. I know some people take the wrong path. They look at it in a very dark way. They look at it as everything is wrong or not possible. And they don't know a way out. And, and that's sometimes where we see that people will have, they'll take the wrong choice and they harm themselves, uh, either directly or indirectly, whether it's with drugs or other things, and, or suicide. And that's something, don't ever go down that path. It's the wrong path every time. Um, it, it, there's always an answer. There's always a better way. You may not see it right this second, but it's there and it's important. Reach out to people, reach out to people you call your friends, uh, your family, uh, and, and there are helplines out there. Reach out to them and get that help that you need and, and persevere because one thing that I've been through fires, I've been through floods, I've been through civil wars, earthquakes, attempted coups, motorcycle accidents. I've had a lot of problems. Uh, besides, you know, the emotional crap that I'm going through right now. And I can tell you, given time, it will get better. Something will change and there's something positive will happen. And that's an important thing to keep in mind. And I did want to share that with everyone because I know it's been a very difficult and trying time for me personally. And so, uh, and a lot of difficulty and, and a lot of burned bridges uh, you know, Moabs to the bridge, <laughs> but you know, that's just part of life and we do try and move on. 
And to top it all off, I also had my water heater die yesterday. <laughs> so, you know, it's when it rains, it pours and it feels like everything is going against you, that everything is beating up on you and there is no way out. But I can tell you there there is you can fix the water heater, hopefully, and, you know, help if you can. Um, but, you know, if you the water heater, the light turning off mortgages, bills, we all have these things. And sometimes it all feel like everything's all at once. It's all coming down on you. Be strong. Take a deep breath. Focus on one thing and accomplish that one thing. And then go to the next. And then to the next. One after another. Because we can only really do one thing at a time. Take that moment. Take that time. Take that deep breath. Talk to your friends and, and to anyone that you need to reach out to. And it will get better. And you will be better.